Okay, so we got the uh, Stasic 16, the uh, E-Drive 16 bike for my oldest boy, Renan, uh, for his sixth birthday. So he turned six, and we got him this bike. And he's a accomplished peewee rider at this point. He's been riding the peewees since uh, before he was four years old. So this is just kind of something for him to play around in the backyard with, and he absolutely loves it. I think he likes it even more than this peewee, to tell you the truth. But uh, he is a thrash tester so if it's gonna break he's gonna break it so that's what I'm waiting to happen with this and uh, I've noticed a couple things already on it that could uh, use a second look or maybe they just weren't set up right when it was assembled and that first thing is that I noticed there's a clicking sound when he rides around so I don't know if you can hear that or not so what that is is the chain down here the chain looks like it's a little bit too loose you can see it moving around when I put uh, tension on it so we're gonna tighten up that chain to get that noise out my other son Callan's e-drive 12 does not make that noise so uh, I just think that's a chain adjustment we'll get that sorted out and the other thing is I'll probably have to flip it upside down to show you but it looks like the headstock is loose actually you can see it now see it looks like that headstock's a little bit loose up there so there's some play in his uh headstock in the frame up here which that's not good because that'll uh wallow out the bearings and stuff eventually but he's never even noticed it because um he's had that problem on his peewee for a long time and i finally fixed it with some uh tapered bearings um, so we're gonna go ahead and adjust this chain and take a look at that headstock and try to get this bike a little bit more dialed in and then from there, see how long it lasts. And then we'll do some more videos on it and uh, impression videos and updates, uh, what's breaking, what's holding up, uh, the uh, longevity of them, and anything else I can think of. So let's, uh, let's do these jobs and see what happens. Okay, so adjusting the chain should be fairly simple. You just got a 15 millimeter nut on the one side of the axle and then a 15 millimeter nut on the other side of the axle. And once we loosen those up, looks like there's a nice little chain adjuster right there that we should be able to make the fine incremental adjustments to get the chain where we want it. So the nuts for the axles were on there really tight, like kind of surprisingly tight. So took me a minute to get crack the one off so now we're just going to take a uh, 5 sixteenths here and then should be able to tighten this and we can see how the chain moves on the other side so I'm going to set the camera there and I'm just kind of going to adjust it to where this uh, chain doesn't hit the uh, plastic guard anymore so that's mostly what I'm concerned about since it's a uh, just a um, non-suspension rigid frame. There should be really no uh, need for uh, range of motion, motion on the chain because there's no suspension action. So we just want to get it to clear that plastic so it doesn't tap around in there. Okay, so I'm gonna have Renan give it some gas, and I found the spot over here where we can shoot the uh, the chain lube in without having to worry about the spokes of the wheel. So go ahead and just give it a little bit of gas and make it spin real slowly. Good, a little bit more. Keep going.
Okay. All right. Looks like it's good and lubed up in there. Here, let's give it a good fast spin. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Okay, should be good and lubed up now, right? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna check is this headstock here that looks like it's a little bit loose. You can see it kind of pivots. Uh, can't see it good the way it's sitting now, but when there's a uh, weight on the wheels, you can see it pretty apparently. So maybe you can see a movement down there on the fork tube. So we're gonna see how we can't tighten that up. Okay, so there should be a bolt that goes down right there through the stem. You take this little cap off and then we see the Allen key right here and I'm hoping that's what needs to be tightened up. Okay so this is a five millimeter Allen and uh, this is the first touch I'm putting on it and it was literally like hand tight so I'm gonna go ahead and crank that down a good bit and see if we can tighten up the steering stem. So we gave it a good tightening. I basically tightened it until the steering effort got a little bit harder and then I backed off a little bit. So the steering's not really floppy loose, but with two hands on it, it should be just fine. So that was the problem there too. So now we're gonna go out, and give it a good thrash test and see if it's any better. Okay, so we tighten up the chain, tighten up the headstock. I'm considering those just things that weren't checked off the list entirely when the assembly was done. And I don't know if the dealers assemble them or if the uh, factory assembles them. So anyways, it's not a big deal. Just a little bit of touch up work at the end. So Ren is out testing it out pretty good. This is our backyard track and I just uh, made it a little bit more stasicky with a set of pump track whoops over there and then we put some berms here. They're still pretty soft. It's already going dead. And we put some berms here, kind of like some pump track style berms, which uh, is also going to help with the transformation of this backyard track to be kind of like a pit bike track. So pit bike racing is getting pretty popular here in Florida again. So probably build up a CRF 50 and a 110 to do that with. Oh, he's down. <laughs> so it looks like those little fixes work good and we'll uh, monitor the progress. So I'm going to roll this into another video giving you my uh, basically one week review of the Stasic and uh, as you can see Renan is really really hard on equipment so he's a great little test subject for the longevity of these things which uh, is one thing I'm going to monitor on these Stasic bikes because as a peewee dad I just spent uh, twice as much on this bike as I did his peewee so that was a little hard to swallow so I just want to make sure these things are worth the money if not what we could do to improve them and uh, maybe you know, get some better knowledge base going on how to keep these things going and make them faster and fix them. Yeah.